Hey, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining me here. Glenn Thomas, part of the Wrestling Marks of Excellence, which you can hear each and every Thursday night on Fox Sports Radio, 1340 AM and 96.9 FM. Just want to give you a recap of the Great Balls of Fire, the results from the Great Balls of Fire pay-per-view. If you watched the pre-show, we saw Akira Tazawa take on Neville, the king of the Cruiserweights. A very hard-hitting match, match going back and forth. But that's right, the king of the Cruiserweights gets to win. Neville is still your Cruiserweight champion. We see how this storyline developed more on WWE 205, which you can see on WWE Network. The the Great Ball of Fire pay-per-view itself started out with a great match, a good match to start the card. We had Seth Rollins taking on Bray Wyatt uh, in this grudge match. Both men were able to get their things in, their stuff in, the things they like to do, back and forth, back and forth match. Goes outside the ring, and Bray Wyatt sticks the thumb into Seth Rollins' eye. Uh, Seth Rollins gets back into the ring along with Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt quickly hits Sister Abigail for the one, two, three. Much needed win for Bray Wyatt as you listen to the Wrestling Marks of Excellence our prediction. Myself and the Wizard Nephew Corey said Bray Wyatt needed his win much more uh, than Seth Rollins, and Bray Wyatt definitely got the win on this match. Then we went to the other grudge match of the afternoon or the evening. The grudge match everybody wanted to see. Enzo Amore taking on Big Cass. Uh, the tag team has split up, as you know. Uh, Big Enzo comes out first, cuts a good promo. Uh, two times in a row, two weeks in a row, that Enzo cuts a great promo. And that was the only thing we got from Enzo that was good in this match. Because Big Cass came out and dominated the match. Enzo gave a valid effort, but could not get the win, and Cass made him pay for it. Uh, Big Cass gets the win in the pinfall. We'll see where Big Cass go from here. Who will be in Big Cass's next feud? Feud Would it be the Big Show? Or would it be somebody else? Uh, good to see Big Cass get the win here. Where does Enzo go from here? Hey, 205, maybe uh, off of TV for a little bit, get repackaged. We never know, but Big Cass gets the win. Then we go to the Iron Man. Iron Man tag, Raw Tag Team Title Match, the Hardy Boys taking on Cesaro and Sheamus. And within the first 30 seconds of this match, we already had a pinfall uh, after the bro kick. Cesaro and Sheamus was up 1-0, to zero, gone back and forth. Matt Hardy took a ton of punishment in this match. Uh, Jeff Trafani got into the ring, uh, and Cesaro, uh, and they tied it up a little bit. We got to a 3-3 within the 5-minute mark. And then Cesaro, after a senton bomb, uh, on to Sheamus from the top rope by Jeff Hardy. So Cesaro comes in and steals a pin away from the Hardy boys. And they go up 4-3. to three. 26 seconds left in this match. Cesaro goes outside the ring. And what he does, he runs. He's smart man. What a genius. The Swiss Superman is a smart man, but gets back in the ring. He get hit by a twist of fate. Referee counts 1-2. Time runs out. Cesaro and Sheamus is still your Raw Tag Team Champions. The Hardys were a second too late. They got down in this match 2-0. Uh, fought their way back to tie it up 3-3. Three three. Uh, valiant effort by the Hardy Boys. This is one of a good grudge match, a good, good storyline. The Hardy Boys, Sheamus and Cesaro, have been putting on a great match. We saw a great cage match. We saw a great Iron Man, 30-minute Iron Man match by Cesaro, Cesaro Sheamus with the Hardy Boys. Good feud for these guys. Way to take it. Good match, in my opinion, was one of the matches of the night. Uh, then we go on from there. After you saw a great match by Cesaro and Sheamus, we went on to Alexa Bliss taking on the boss herself, Sasha Banks, for the Raw Women's Championship match. Alexa Bliss and Sasha Banks both gave it back and forth. Seen something in the match i never seen before. Saw something in the match i never seen before. I watch a lot of wrestling. This, uh, Alexa Bliss dislocated her own elbow and made it look like she was hurting and popped it back in and attacked Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks was concerned throughout the match, uh, throughout that, at that point. But Alexa Bliss takes control of the match. Of course, Sasha Banks comes back uh, in this match and gets and comes back in this match and get a hand up on Alexa Bliss. And Alexa Bliss hightails it, get herself counted out of the ring. She leaps off to the out, out of the ring, get counted out. Sasha Banks is your winner. But she will not win the Raw Women's Championship. Alexa Bliss takes that title, goes up the ramp. And what happens? Sasha Banks adds some more injuries to insult and attacks Alexa Bliss up on the ramp. Going back and forth, we get a double knee onto Alexa Bliss's chest. Her head hits the back of the concrete. A little bit of blood on her nose and lips. Sasha Banks put a little bit of work in after the match. But nonetheless, she's still not the Raw Women's Champion. Alexa Bliss is, and she takes that belt to Monday Night Raw 
here in the near future, and we'll see where she go from there. Will Nia Jax get in the mix? Will we have another match between Sasha Banks and Alexa Bliss for the Raw Women's Championship? Hey, we just got to watch Monday Night Raw to find out. Then we go to the Intercontinental Championship match. The Miz taking on Dean Ambrose for the Intercontinental title. Very Miz in the Miserage that comes out. Uh, they come out back and forth here. They get they get involved in the match as you would expect. Bo Dallas, Curtis Axel, as well as Maurice get involved in this match. Ambrose hits a butterfly suplex from the top rope onto the Miz. Uh, he gets a two count. Don't get the win there. Uh, Miz puts the Maurice uh, foot on Maurice put the Miz's foot on the bottom of the rope uh, to help. Stop a pinfall for Dean Ambrose. Of course, they got involved uh, in that match. Ambrose does a suicide dive onto the Miz, Curtis Axel, as well as Bo Dallas onto the floor. Back and forth match. But the Miz finally gets the win there. That's right. The Miz himself in the Miserage is still your Intercontinental Champion. The Miz walks away with the IC title, and he continues to reign. We'll see if the feud between the Miz and Dean Ambrose goes on, or will they give Miz a new dance partner? Then we go into Roman Reigns taking on Braun Strowman. What a match. An ambulance match there. Both guys were heavy hitting. Very stiff match here. Cheers got into play. Ambulance got into play. But nonetheless, it was Braun Strowman at the end of this match. Outsmarting Roman Reigns as Roman Reigns tried to spear Braun Strowman into the ambulance. And Braun Strowman steps out the way. Roman Reigns flies into the ambulance as if he was Superman. And nonetheless, Roman uh, Braun Strowman closes the door. One, two, three, whatever you want to call it in the ambulance match, the match, the stipulation is whoever closes, who's ever in the ambulance, and the door closes, they are the winner. The winner was Braun Strowman. Roman Reigns hops out the ambulance and begins to attack Braun Strowman, shoves him into the ambulance after one or two Superman punches, and then proceeds to drive into the back of the Dallas, uh, of the Am American Airline Arena and then smashes the ambulance back into another trailer, causing Braun Strowman to be crushed as the wwe wants to appear to be uh which ambulance came in the jaws of life were used to get braun Strowman out of the ambulance he refused to use uh, any medical attention now while this was going on this is the funny part of the night i'm watching with some casual wrestling fans and and there was a match Seth for uh, you had curtis hawkins taking on Heath Slater, and no one cared about this match whatsoever. I didn't even show the finish of the match on TV. If you watch the Great Balls of Fire pay-per-view, I believe Seth, uh, believe Heath Slater won the match over Curtis Hawkins. They never went back to it. Nonetheless, ambulance match. Braun Strowman gets out the ambulance after the Jaws of Life and walks off and refuses medical attention, but he still is the winner over the ambulance match over Roman Reigns. Then we go to the main event of the evening. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the main event of the evening, which we saw Brock Lesnar taking on Samoa Joe, and Samoa Joe did not back down, nor did he disappoint. He immediately attacked Brock Lesnar before the bell even got the ring, before the bell rung. Paul Heyman was on the microphone, and Samoa Joe went after Brock Lesnar like a beast he is. He went back and forth, put him, up, put him through the announcer's table inside, inside the ring, I mean, outside the ring, they get battled way back in the ring. The bell is rung. Joe's in the corner beating the living daylights out of Brock Lesnar. Of course, Brock Lesnar comes back. Suplex City. Joe went to Suplex City several times. <laughs> several, several, several times. The Kamoa Clutch was put on Brock Lesnar a couple times. But Brock let it all said and done, ladies and gentlemen. Brock Lesnar got the F5 on Samoa Joe, got the 1, 2, 3, and leaves Dallas as your universal champion. That Does that mean we'll see Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar? Only time will tell. If you had to ask me what kind of grade this pay-per-view, I would give it a B-. minus. A B- minus for this pay-per-view it wasn't an A pay-per-view. The card was good. Some of the matches was great. A little bit mm, laissez-faire in the middle towards the end. Braun Strowman and Roman Reigns went a little too long, but nonetheless, good pay-per-view for WWE. Uh, great Balls of Fire really lived up to the hype that it had. Brock Lesnar and Samoa Joe uh, was a fight. It wasn't a wrestling match, but it was a fight, and Brock Lesnar leaves as your universal champion. Nonetheless, Great Balls of Fire, WWE, good pay-per-view. If you want to hear more of my opinion, hey, listen to me, listen to me myself in The Wizard Corey, nephew Corey, Thursday night, Fox Sports Radio 1340 and 96.9 FM. If you like what you heard, hit the subscribe button at the bottom. Leave a comment below if you agree or disagree. What grade do you give this pay-per-view? WWE, Great Balls of Fire. Glenn Thomas, talk to you later.